Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Bite Size Talks. With me is Matthias. Uh, he is working at the data center of Scilab Lab and is also our infrastructure guru. <laughs> and today he is going to talk about the new blog of NF Core. And uh, off to you. Yes, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Um, yes, NF Core blog. You might have seen uh, this blue little dot. Um, on the about page that we are now part of the blogosphere back to the early 2000s blogger the new cool thing uh and yes if you just go to nfcore slash blog you find the initial blog post there will be more coming soon uh and also it's a real blog so we also have an rss feed and this rss feed is also piped into the nfcore posts uh, slack channel so if you don't want to regularly look on that page, uh, but still want to know when there's a new post, we will write probably also in the announcement channels, but every post will also be coming up in that channel automatically. Yes, with that, okay, so we have the blog, but why do we actually need a blog as NF Core? Um, and actually a long process and part of the whole website rewrite, Phil was always talking about, we should have a blog, we should have a blog. And other people were like, hey, why did you as NF Core decide this and this thing? And then we didn't really have a platform except for the announcement channel to kind of write down. But on Slack, it's a bit difficult sometimes to write longer texts. So we needed a place to write longer texts, also maybe with some screenshots and everything nicely ordered, which shouldn't be like documentation because it's more time sensitive, but yeah, something like a blog maybe. Uh, also for events like hackathons, we didn't really have a place to kind of share what, what we did during the hackathon. There was like the video, the wrap-up video, but usually the photos are taken, stuff happens and it just disappears. So with this, we hope we can also capture that a bit. Uh, also, like from us, from the infrastructure uh, place, it is nice for the when we add stuff to tools that we have a place to kind of show it off a bit more besides the announcements or the tools channel. Um, and also to, to the wider community, there are like if you have a bigger pipeline release with like a big new feature or something like that, it would be a place we can imagine. Um, to post about it on a blog or other community related things uh, you think should be on a blog. So yeah, this is why we now have this platform and how do you add stuff to it? Well, you make similar to like to how you get a new NF core pipeline, you make a proposal in new blog posts a Slack channel. You don't have to provide a tube map for this. Uh, you can just write down what you would like to have. Then if you get some thumbs up, you can make a card on a project board. Um, it's the blog post project board on GitHub, on the GitHub organization. Then you assign yourself to this topic and you open a PR and that's it. Um, how should this PR look like? Well, you know our website, it's Markdown. Um, it's Markdown everywhere. Actually, it's marked on an MDX. Uh, so to that MDX part later, a bit more. Uh, but first, um, yes, you write a markdown file. Um, where do you write it? It should be in the slash blog and then slash year uh, directory in the contents directory. Uh, and then you write your markdown and it needs this special front matter you see here. Um, where some things, as usual, are required, some are not required. Uh, no worries too much about this. We have some sanity checks. So if you try to build your page with something missing or something incorrect, it will just not build. So you will not break anything. It will just not appear uh, on your uh, development platform. Uh, but let's quickly go through the front matter. So this is separated by three minus signs. Uh, from the actual rendered markdown text. You have the title and the subtitle, which is quite clear. Then you have an header image, which is like you saw before, um, 
just an image which appears in the card, but also then in the blog post. Um, there's then a requirement implemented that if you have an image, uh, and here, for example, you can just use Unsplash, uh, you need to also have an alt text. So we make it a bit uh, more accessible, the whole thing. So that is something we check. If you have an image, you also need to have an alt text. Um, then also very important is the publication date, because that's when that markdown is actually coming up on the website. Um, it needs to be in this very nice ISO format. So keep in mind all the UTC offsets and stuff like that needs to be correct there. Otherwise, something will be off. And then the authors, where you just write an uh, YAML array with your GitHub usernames, uh, which are then nicely rendered in all the different places. Um, and also, this is uh, we have optionally a field for labels. We haven't have, don't have so many posts yet to actually like need filtering, but in the future we are thinking of using these labels to filter your posts um, into different sections. And yes, and then you just write Markdown. Uh, and it is, of course, not just Markdown, it's the end of core flavor of Markdown. So you can write some call outs, uh, admonitions. We, you can have fancy code blocks with file titles, highlighted lines, line numbers, whatever you want. Uh, and also you can use MDX. So you can take whatever uh, component we have on the website, add it into your markdown and get it, oops, get it rendered. That was too fast, sorry for that. Um, yes, main authors for this block are uh, of course, the core team and the outreach team, but also maintainers in general and whoever in the community wants to contribute to it. We are quite open. Who wants to write? We, of course, don't really want too much like uh, advertisement for like companies there. But in general, if it's of interest for the NF core community, I think we're pretty open to, to certain, yeah. Uh, entries there and when you then write your blog post how can you actually look at it there are two ways the first one uh, is the more I, I, I think the easier one uh, just on your local machine run npm run dev and then go to the blog uh, site on the local host and you should see your blog post appear there if you set the date correctly, be uh, aware about the publication date. And also then when you submit your PR, it should, will be built. And if the publication date is in time, it should also appear there. Yes, with that, are there any questions on this all new initiative of the NF Core block? Well, this was very quick. <laughs> yes. You know my bite-sized talks, they're really bite-sized. So, <laughs> uh, could you maybe elaborate a bit more about the publication date? Where do you give this up publication date? Uh, yes, so it is just the uh, front matter of the whole. So here you just have pub date, um, which is then, um, yeah, rendered, and if the current date is after this date it will appear uh in the on the site so if you want to actually schedule something for the future but still want to preview it you need to first change that i guess you could also change the local time uh, on your machine but maybe it's easier if you just uh um, change the public date to one day before it actually should be published and then move it don't forget to move it back otherwise it will be live uh, and as usual, our sites are built twice per day at nine o'clock in the morning and at two o'clock in the morning. And after this, they will appear. Uh, so they don't appear at midnight. If you set midnight there, they will appear at the next build because everything is statically built. Cool. Uh, we also have a question in the chat uh, from Phil. Do you have any ideas in queue for the block to give an idea of the kinds of topics we expect? We Kind of yes. Uh, so we have some like 
I know that Satish, for example, is working on a bigger blog post about NF tests, about all the different fine fun things we can we want to do with NF test. Also a bit to support the documentation that we have a bit more of our reasoning for NF test and how we see NF test used in that. That is one idea. Uh then like other community events happening or uh surrounding NF core are also planned. Uh, <clears throat> uh, another question is uh, how can I see updates and do they go to Slack? Yes, uh, as mentioned, there's the Slack. Uh, sorry. There's the Slack channel and of course posts and also the RSS feed. So with that, you get automatically uh, announced that. Also, you have the blue dot on the website for one day after the um, uh, one day after um, the post goes live, there's a blue dot here. And if you open next to the blog section, there is a new post. Ah, actually, yeah. if you want to find the blog and don't remember the URL, it's in the about section. And uh, the last question, when should stuff be a blog post and when should, should you go with docs? <laughs> that's a good question. And I think that's also something we ourselves need to find out a bit. But I think if it's more like time specific, it should be in the, a blog post or also a bit less. Uh, I, I Yeah, like less for a general audience, but more for some specific things. I think it, uh, the blog po blog post will be more, more helpful and uh, the docs should be yeah, more for general things. Right, but there could also be something that is both a blog post yeah. and docs. Yes. Right. Or yes. Cool. Uh, do we have any more? There's one more. No, it says blog yeah. posts don't need to be kept up to date. Yes. That's correct. Yes. So a blog post is just up to date at the moment it's published, afterwards it's updated, while the docs, of course, are always up to date. Right. Uh, people could also unmute themselves. I was a bit uh, taken aback for how, how short it was, so I couldn't in time uh, uh, allow this. But uh, if anyone has another question, they can, of course, also unmute themselves now. <laughs> but yes, uh, everything is still quite new, so we are also kind of still taking this platform out a bit, but it will, I think, also be fun and helpful to have this kind of new new way to document things, not like code documentation, but also like event documentation, uh, which we were missing, I, I feel like, on NF Core. Hmm. Uh, so if there are no more questions from the audience, which it seems like, then I would like to thank you for uh, this talk and as usual the Jan Zuckerberg for funding bite size talks and you all for listening in to this bite size talk in particular. Thank you very much. Bye.